Hi there, this is Dana. In this quick tutorial, I'm actually going to be explaining the difference between stitching over one and stitching over two. I've actually had a lot of questions over the years about the difference between the two, especially from new beginners. Um, like if you're in Facebook groups and things like that, you'll quite often hear these kind of terms being thrown around and sometimes you're not really sure what they mean. So I'm actually going to do a demonstration. So I've got one strand of floss here. So this is a 14 count Ada. This is what most uh, beginner stitchers will actually start stitching with. Uh, you can see I've already done some stitching here for another tutorial, but uh, so this is actually stitched over one, but I will actually demonstrate that right now so you can see. I'm just gonna choose a thing here. So over one just means over one thread in the fabric, no matter which fabric you have, whether it's really um, sort of a more coarse grain, like Ada fabric here, or even weave and linen, which I'll show you in a moment. Uh, that's just what it means, over one thread in your fabric. So I'm gonna zoom in a little bit here so you can see this. So as with your normal cross stitch, you just make your cross. For 14 count, you would normally use two strands of floss. I'm just using one right now just for this demonstration. So you can see the cross a little easier. All right, so that's over one. With Ada, it's basically two, I think it's three or four strands of fabric going this way and three or four strands going this way. And that sort of creates almost a little block in the middle. And then your holes where you put your needle are in the corners of each block. So that's what it means by over one. So because this is 14 count fabric, you're gonna get 14 stitches to the inch. So that's just what it means by going over one. All right, so I'm just gonna trim that. All right, for going over two, I'm gonna knot my thread. So this is uh, this is 28 count even weave. So if you're going over two on even weave, it's the equivalent of going over one on the thread count that's half the size in Ada. And what I mean by that is, this is 28 count, so 28 stitches to the inch. This is 14 count. So it's 14 stitches to the inch. So this is technically twice as many stitches per inch. If you look at the tiny little grains in the fabric there, um, this is twice as many stitches as, um, sorry, make sure that's focused on the right thing. There you go. Um, you can see that it's much, much finer grain to the fabric than the Ada. So this is 28 to the inch, this is 14. But if you're stitching over two on this, it basically means that you're dividing your stitch count in half because you're only going over every second hole and I'm going to demonstrate this as best as I can. It's a little tricky demonstrating on Ada or sorry on linen and even weave just because it is um it's much finer so obviously the camera has a hard time picking up detail so so I've just chosen any random hole so you're going to go up one up two and then over one over two so that's what it means by over two, because you're going over two holes. And then same, you go two down for your next part of the X, over two, up two. So that's, the, that's, the, that's what it means by over two on linen and even weave. And I'll just do another one here so you can see. Um, the reason you would want to do over two is uh, there's a lot more variety in fabrics for linens and even weaves. Even weave is just, um, it's usually cotton or some kind of natural fiber like that that's been machine manufactured in, in the sense that the, the grains are really, really even. That's why it's called even weave. Linen is actually made out of linen um, fiber and it's got like slubs in it, which are like these little lumpy bits that sort of appear and the thread can kind of waver between being quite thick and quite thin. So that gives it a really unique texture, but it also does make it uneven that's the difference between the linen and the even weave. So there's a lot more variety in fabrics and also you can get a lot more detail with linen and even weave if you're using patterns that use fractional stitches. I've got another video that I will link in the video description below about fractional stitches. Basically it's just instead of doing a full block you're using like a quarter stitch or a three quarter stitch, things like that. So there you go. So that's what it means by going over two. So you can see with the size of the stitches, just compare these side by side, 
they're basically exactly the same size because this is the 14 count over 1, this is 28 count over 2. So there you go. One thing to note too with stitching over 1 versus over 2, I've seen some people, um, particularly those really, really big um, full coverage patterns that are like poster size, like artworks that have been converted into patterns. Um, some people, they don't want to stitch on linen and even weave because the holes are smaller. And so sometimes if you've got vision issues or you just don't want to um, to have to work so hard counting because it is a little bit more, um, I don't want to say tricky, but it, it takes a little bit of practice to get used to stitching over two on linen and even weave than it does on the Ada where the holes are a lot more obvious and easy to see. So some people, when they want to tackle one of these really big patterns, they think, oh, I'll just do it on Ada fabric or I'll do it over two to make it you know easier on me instead of these tiny tiny little stitches as if you were stitching over one and for example like over one on this and there is a, actually a trick to stitching over one across a big area uh, on linen and even weave just because of the way the fabric's manufactured so I'll be doing an upcoming video on how to stitch over one on linen and even weave but you can see you're just making these tiny little stitches so sometimes people don't want to do these tiny little stitches. You can get um, magnifiers and things like that as well which help if, you, if vision is an issue. So you can see that's like half the size of, of these ones. But the problem is if you're doing these big poster size patterns quite often the, the stitch number is so high if you don't stitch over one you're actually not going to be able to find fabric anywhere that's going to be able to accommodate the size of your pattern. So one really good um, equation that people should know if they're stitching is um, if you're not sure of how big your finished project is going to be. So you'll take the number of stitches, so say a pattern has 140 stitches across. You'll take that number, 140, and you'll divide it by the thread count of the fabric you want to use. So let's say you want to stitch it on 14 count Ada. So it's 14. So you'll divide 140 stitches wide, by 14 and that equals 10 so your stitched width will be 10 inches wide plus obviously three inches on either side for your margin for finishing and framing and whatnot so that's 10 inches wide whereas if you stitch the same number of stitches your 140 stitches over one on 28 count that's only going to be five inches wide that's half the width. So sometimes if, say, a pattern has, say, 300 stitches across, that's huge. So you're going to have to stitch over one because otherwise you're not going to be able to find fabric that's big enough to either accommodate Ada fabric, which usually only goes up to about 18-ish count, I believe, or stitching over two on linen and even weaves. You might have to stitch over one if it's one of those gigantic, massive patterns. So that is something to, to be aware of. If you're working on a smaller pattern, you can choose whichever fabric you like better, whether it's stitching over one on Ada, or whether it's stitching over two to get the same stitch size on linen and even weave, like I've done here. These are some of my new patterns that I just released. This is on 32 count Murano Lugana from Zweigart. It's their new splash collection. I love the fabric, it's so cool. I'll try and zoom in. Um, this is stitched over two. So because it's 32 count over two, divide two by th 32 and that's 16. So this is the equivalent of stitching on 16 count fabric. So I'm not quite sure if you can see as it's got, um, uh, it's, it's a bit dark fabric, so it's a little bit hard to see the detail, but those are actually stitched over two. So up two over two for every stitch. Same as this one here. Home is where the pants aren't. You can definitely relate to that. So you can see, this might be easier to see on the lighter fabric, it's over two. All these stitches are over two. And that way it allowed me to, to not only, you know, show off this really pretty fabric, but, you know, the patterns didn't end up like ridiculously small because I was stitching over one. I was still able to keep them a decent size and keep them manageable for me. As well as doing like French knots and stuff, it was just easier keeping the pattern a more manageable size for myself. So that's why I stitched over two on those. So if you have any questions, uh, please feel free to let me know in the comments. Um, I will be putting a link to this collection as well in case you want to see more of these. Um, yeah, 
they've been quite popular so far. I think people are really relating to the fact of not wanting to adult. Uh, it's called the Adulting 101 Collection. And, and if you have any questions about uh, like the math and things like that, like I will put that equation in the uh, video description as well. So you can actually kind of figure out, especially for the bigger projects, figure out what's better for you and what you're likely to be able to find fabric for. Because I think fabric only goes up to about 52 to 60 inches wide. So if you're working on a giant poster size pattern, you might have a problem finding fabric if you're wanting to stitch over two. And that's it for now. Uh, in an upcoming tutorial, I'll be doing a tutorial specifically on how to stitch over one on linen and even weave because it is a little different than stitching on Ada. And I'll also be doing a tutorial coming up uh, soon about how to do squashed stitches, which are kind of like, they're a type of fractional stitch, but that will be coming up later. Hope you have a good day. Bye for now.